Mental Health Chats. I'm Claire Davis and I'm here to help you bring better emotional fitness into your life. If you're watching on YouTube, please subscribe. If you're listening on podcast, please follow. Our series at the moment is on burnout and I'm all about helping managers in organisations to help their teams so that they stop burnout as well as to help themselves so that they don't get burnt out themselves. And today we have Janet Darling. Hello, Janet. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Yeah. Very good. Janet, it would be lovely if all the listeners out there could hear a little bit about yourself. So what do you do, Janet? I'm a solution focused clinical hypnotherapist. I retrained about six years ago. I was a primary school teacher for 25 years before that. And a lot of people sort of think, gosh, that's quite a different thing to do. And it's not really. It, it, when we talk a little bit more about what solution focused hypnotherapy is, it's, it's very much what good primary school teachers do every day. Um, so it was just a natural progression for me. So tell us, what is solution focused hypnotherapy? Um, it's, it's hypnotherapy, obviously. Um, yeah. I think a lot of people understand what hypnotherapy is, but the solution focus aspect of it is it's the kind of questioning that we use and uh, that we ask clients and it's very much focusing on the here and now looking at our yeah. current situation and how we would like it to look in the future and there's also quite a bit of explanation about how the brain works and the different parts of the brain that that lovely rational sensible prefrontal cortex and that that primitive brain that's that fight flight freeze response so the fight is anger the flight is anxiety and the freeze is when we withdraw or avoid things so depression so having that combined that understanding of how our brain works along with you know careful questioning solution focused questioning helps the clients just rediscover their inner strength and resources that, that they can draw on so it's a, it's a very collaborative um, type of therapy it's lovely actually it's really enjoyable and and when you say hypnotherapy um i've i've had solution focused hypnotherapy so i know exactly the way it works but a lot of people think wow are you going to sort of get me walking around the room and saying weird things what is hypnotherapy <laughs> Yeah, well, hypnotherapy, hypnosis is a really natural state, mental state. Um, it's slightly altered um, to our day to day, being completely um, aware of what's going on and focused. So the best example to give is, you know, when you drive a car a familiar route and you get to the end of the journey, you think, uh, I know I didn't fall asleep. I don't actually remember most of it. We've put ourselves into a trance, into hypnosis. So it's a very natural state. And when we're in hypnosis, um, in that trance state, our mind is open to suggestions and in solution focused hypnotherapy um, the way we get you into a trance well the way we get into a trance naturally is either doing something very familiar or really focused on something or deeply relaxed oh, yeah. obviously we're using the deeply relaxed in hypnotherapy sessions and with direct suggestion hypnotherapy the hypnotherapist hypnotizes you with your permission and then gives you lots of lovely suggestions that they feel will be helpful for you it's great it's, it's a really effective form but solution focused hypnotherapy uses indirect suggestion we don't give direct suggestions in the trance state in the right. talking bit of the therapy with the client where the client is coming up with their own ideas by our careful questioning um they um when they go into the trance that's what they're opening up their mind to that's what they are then going with their own thoughts and, and clients when they first start so if i knew what to do i'd be doing it <laughs> and it's like yeah. yeah but most people when they come to see me are not operating in their prefrontal cortex day to day their primitive yeah. brain has taken charge because what I'm helping them do is to feel relaxed so that that prefrontal cortex can really get working. So. Excellent. So I'm thinking about um, preventing burnout. So yes. how could solution-focused hypnotherapy help people if they're feeling burnt out? So there's the two there. So there's if somebody is experiencing burnout, then obviously what solution focused hypnotherapy can do is it can help calm that primitive brain because the burnout is we've spent too much time with the adrenaline running. Yeah. So adrenaline is an interesting one. It's both um, a, it's a motivational chemical within our bodies, but it's also part of that immediate fight flight freeze. So if we um, if we are really driven and we keep going and we keep going, we keep going, it's great but it will be become adrenaline driven. And then that just tips us over eventually. It kind of creeps up on us. Yeah. Nobody sits down one day and says, right, I want to be really 
um, stressed and anxious and, and cross about everything. It just creeps up and it usually creeps up because a lot of people are, a lot of people are driven and they enjoy their work and are just a bit more and just a bit more. Mm. Um, so if somebody is uh, suffering with burnout, then solution focused hypnotherapy can just help them just reassess everything, slow down, calm down, focus on the things that need to be focused on rather than everything with that fight, flight, freeze, do it now kind of thing. Yeah. So that's so again, it's just helping people calm that primitive brain down so that it's not responding to everything and, and finding just a calmness. We can still be busy, we can still be focused. Yeah. But but not so um exhausted. Adrenaline is exhausting. It is exhausting. So it's from fun or stress. Yeah, definitely. It is exhausting. And this is a really interesting concept. So if somebody feels like they are burnt out we can you can work with them yes. so that they change their mindset in their brain which is fantastic what about um the opposite um especially in the workplace if we're working in a very very high efficient role where we're on the go all the time and we don't want to burn out how could solution focused hypnosis help with that yeah well i am i'm i'm an avid reader and two of my favorite authors about the brain and just being um is david rock who is a um mm -hmm. consultant and leadership coach from, from australia i think he's yeah yeah he's great um, and yeah. then also um dr dan seagal who's a clinical professor of psychiatry and they team together i can't remember when now 2003 or something and they develop something called a healthy mind platter and yeah. these are seven essential activities every day that will keep our mind healthy um, and but there's no surprise with some of them sleep obviously yeah. sleep is a good, good activity and minimum seven hours for uh, adults between seven and nine is, is optimum yeah. then some physical time every day focus time some play time because play time is is really essential in making those connections that creativity as well for adults as well as for children and connecting time that's why so many people suffered uh, during the pandemic when we had the lockdowns because that connecting time mm. just those inconsequential chats around you know as you're going to get your coffee they just didn't happen it yeah. was quite intense yeah. um, and then the two that often get left out with very driven people and i work teenagers as well so those kind of teenagers who are um they've got exams coming up and they're really yeah. focused on them but the two that get often get mixed out are downtime and time in so the downtime is when we're non-focused without any specific goal and we let our mind wander or simply relax and that helps our brain to recharge and then the time in is when we quietly reflect internally focusing on those sensations images feelings and thoughts so we help integrate the brain better yeah. and it's not a, a seventh of the day on each of those because we know we need a minimum seven hours sleep seven times yeah. seven does not make 24 but it's yeah. trying to weave those things in throughout the day so if you yeah. just had a really intense meeting mm. just walk slowly back to your desk to have that downtime, just a pocket, just a tiny little moment. Um, there's another, there's a doctor, uh, Michael Mosley, who I listen to as well. And he's just come up with something called um, uh, exercise snacking. And it is not eating before exercise or after. Yeah. It's, it's having little snacks of exercise throughout the day. So I was just going to mention that. Yeah, yeah so like a, just a five minute walk mm -hmm. around the block. Mm. So to, to, to weave those moments in, and I work with um, uh, an accountancy company, which is it's quite high end and it's, it is quite a, a lot of pressure. And I, I do quite a few talks for their new recruits who are going through their chartered um, exams as well as working full time. And, it, and I always talk about this healthy mind platter, just popping these little things in throughout the yeah. day so that we don't save our downtime to the end of the day it's yeah. actually probably exhausted we need them just and they they literally can be two minutes doesn't have yeah. to be time yeah and and also some people just do their exercise in the morning so we don't do it all in the morning and then forget it for the rest of the day i i'm somebody who likes to do my exercise in the morning and i love the term exercise snacking that's yeah. absolutely brilliant because i heard a term recently which is called four by 20 very similar concept where Four times a day for up to 20 minutes, you do something to downtime. So it could be, you know, going for a quick brisk walk or it could be going on your rebounder 
or jumping up and down on your rebound or, or something, some sort of, but I prefer exercise snacking. Can I steal that, please? Oh, well, <laughs> it's not stealing it from me. <laughs> I love it. Absolutely I love it. Most so, will be pleased that we're sharing it. Um, yeah, I think but it's also, good. it's to think of, so let's take uh, taking your dog for a walk. So taking your dog for a walk, um, that's definitely exercise, unless you're like my granddad, who used to take the dog for a walk, and he basically would sit in the car by the dog and run around the field. <laughs> For most that's people, they are walking with their dog, and that could so it's definitely exercise. But if you're walking with your dog with a friend, that's also connecting time. Yes. If you're walking yes. with your dog and you are throwing the ball for your dog and you're really interacting with your dog, that's a bit of playtime for you. Yeah. If you're yeah. walking with your dog and your dog's quite happy off doing their own thing and you're just daydreaming, that's downtime. Yeah. If you're on your phone arranging, I don't know, maybe you've got a meeting with somebody and they're quite happy to talk to you while you're walking, that's focus time as well. So it's yeah. not having these as discrete things. It's yeah. it's it's thinking and when when I first heard about it, I'm a terrible one for I've had burnout a few times, not since I retrained, I hasten to add. Um, yeah. <laughs> now I do practice what I teach. Um but I when I first found out about the healthy mind platter, I I'm a bit of a spreadsheet person, so I've made myself a spreadsheet. And I looked at each of the activities I was doing during the day and thinking, where does this fit within this? Yeah. And if it didn't fit, yeah. it was wasting time. Yeah. Oh, you've given such good tips. Thank you. It's all about preventing burnout and actually understanding if we are getting to the stage of burnout before it happens as well. So and bring... also downtime and playtime they're not treats and rewards because we've worked hard all day. Mm. They are actually essential. And I think for a lot of my clients, that's a really big, for the ones who've come for burnout, if someone's come for depression, it, it will be the opposite. They'll probably spend a lot of time in the time in and the downtime because we do actually need that focus time and connecting time. And that's yeah. what they're needing, more of that. Yeah. Um, so, you know, it, it, it's not it, it, a whole load of downtime all day isn't very good for us either. Yeah. We do need focus time. Um, yeah. But it's to kind of the the takeaway a lot of them had is that, like I said, they're not rewards and treats if we worked hard all day. They are essential. They are essential for our mental wellness. Yeah. Um, and then it means that we don't feel guilty. We don't feel guilty if we take a packed lunch to work. It's a lovely sunny day. We go for a walk to the local park, sit on the bench yeah. and eat our lunch. And that we don't need to feel guilty. We can think, yeah, this is essential. I am I it means I will work better when I get back yeah. oh I love your wise words of wisdom <laughs> you're I always practice well. <laughs> so thank you for practicing what you preach and thank you for all of your insights because um you know this is something I practice as well but it's really good to hear it from a different angle because it gives you different ideas and we've got to reboot these sometimes sometimes yeah. we we don't reboot them enough so you're being brilliant so Janet I'm sure there's a lot of um, people watching or listening out there who would love to get in touch so where could people actually find you um the best place really is my website and it's very simple it's www.janetdowling.co.uk so that's that's quite nice and easy yeah. and there's lots of information on there and then all my contact details are there um, and i am on facebook as well uh, janet dowling clinical hypnotherapist um but i'm my website so i'm just, funny enough i'm We'll soon be putting a, a nice new little photo film on there that I've just had done, which I'm looking forward to oh, seeing. Because I work online and it's showing people how solution focused hypnotherapy works online. Oh, brilliant. So can access yeah. it from anywhere in the world. Fantastic. So, anyone in the world, contact Janet and thank you so much for all your insights. Take Bye. care. Thank you. Bye. Bye.